Chelsea and Preston win, and now it's time to unleash Romelu Lukaku. As if Chelsea's opening day dismantling of Crystal Palace wasn't impressive enough, Thomas Tuchel will unleash record signing Romelu Lukaku this week. That's bad news for Arsenal, who welcome the European champions to the Emirates on Sunday. In truth, it's bad news for the entire Premier League, judging by Chelsea's ruthless display on Saturday. Chelsea looked primed and ready to mount a title assault. Pre-season assertions that the Blues will be Manchester City's closest challengers look well-placed. Patrick Vieira, who knows a thing or two about winning championships, said as much after watching his team be swept aside with minimal fuss in his first game in charge as Palace boss. Chelsea with the money they have spent, the quality they have they will be there fighting for the titles. I think Chelsea will be in the top three teams who can win the Premier League said Vieira, who won six league titles during his playing spells with Arsenal and Juventus. Vieira has his own problems, of course. The prospect of trying to oversee a period of transition while picking up enough points to stay in the top flight can be a dangerous combination. On the evidence of this game, Vieira has his work cut out. But they won't face sides as good as Chelsea every weekend. And the wounds inflicted by this loss at Stamford Bridge may have been far more severe had Lukaku been available. The 97.5 pound million man was forced to miss Chelsea's victory because he was quarantining following his arrival in London from Italy to complete his return to Chelsea. But the Belgium striker's period of isolation is due to end on Monday, with the 28-year-old expected to join full team training at Chelsea's Cobham HQ tomorrow. All being well, Lukaku will make his second Chelsea debut against London rivals Arsenal. On Tuesday he can train so we will prepare him to be ready for Arsenal, said Tuchel. With the addition of Romelu we have the number one striker in, and we want to have him on the pitch, that is very clear when you do this kind of transfer. Romelu is the kind of person who will link with continuity, and he will lift the pressure off the younger guy's shoulders. I think with Romelu we have the opportunity to play with two strikers like he did with Inter, or we can continue with three strikers. Christian Pulisic, who scored Chelsea's second on Saturday, added. I think he is a really good striker that plays with his back to goal. He's a great goalscorer. He is able to link play well. He brings other people into the game. He does a lot of things well and a player like that is great for guys like me and creative players in the team. I think a lot of the players are going to benefit from him signing for the club. However Tuchel decides to incorporate Lukaku into his team, the prospect of the striker's inclusion is the last thing Mikel Arteta will need, following Arsenal's hugely disappointing start to the season at newly promoted Brentford on Friday night. And as if the prospect of taming Lukaku isn't enough to keep Arteta occupied, the potential return of key midfielder N'Golo Kante for the clash will be a further disappointment to the Spaniard. Conte missed the win over Palace with an ankle complaint, but Tuchel said. I think N'Golo will be back in the middle of the week to be ready for Arsenal. He felt discomfort in his ankle on Friday, and he felt it in the warm-up in the Super Cup against Villarreal. Marco Salonso set the balling rolling for Chelsea with a brilliant free kick, but the high